I'm just looking to see. Okay, it looks like Rebecca is setting up in the caves. So I'm not sure what point she is. I don't even know if she's here now. I did see her uh, jump on or I saw her. Yeah. yeah, she was on for a bit and then she shut out so she could set up and save her batteries because she had to carry everything into the caves. <clears throat> I think she started in at like eight o'clock this morning. Oh, Rebecca's here. Okay. Rebecca, are you ready to take it? Hello. Hello. Well, you wanted extra time. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, then I, I want to do a, uh, a guided meditation and uh, maybe show you around the caves a little bit. So okay. oh, there I you are. Do, can you see me? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you for having me. It's an honor to be here. I'm just gonna burn a little sweet grass and calm my mind and my nerves. Because <laughs> you know how you know how great I do on camera. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, still, still, you know, it's still, but I'm okay. I'm fine. I'll be, I've been doing this a long time. Um, what I'm going to share with everyone today is something that I have been working on and practicing for oh, 14, 15 years now. And uh, it's, it's absolutely my passion. It's an uh, emotional healing technique. And um, I use some life coaching, guided imagery. Uh, it's, it's a guided meditation. It's, it's for ultimate deep, deep healing. Um, and I use some shamanic journeying. I actually, we do a little bit of time traveling. Most of the time to go back into our childhood. And when we go into that space, there might be someone there that uh, you need to talk to, to clear things up or to find answers, guidance, direction, uh, understanding on why, you know, things happen the way they did. And I, I am just a, a, you know, a hollow bone in this, in this uh, session. I just allow creator to to work through me and and I'll guide you through it um, safely and hopefully come out most of the time 99.9% .9 success rate that you're able to heal at least something from your past and um, I know we all have something I've I've done hundreds and hundreds of these sessions when I first started doing it um, it would take me about two and a half hours and now it takes me about 10 to 20 minutes <laughs> so if you could tell I've I've done a lot and there might be people coming and going, but I'm going to do my best to acknowledge them um, and then, you know, continue what I'm doing. So, you know, if there's interruptions, just bear with me. Um, this is the session that's done with our eyes closed in the mind. Uh, well, you know, in our minds, I try to get us out of our minds, our brains, our egos, so that we can go into our knowing space. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, it's, it's done in the mind with our eyes closed and it's an inner journey. So I'm excited to take you on it. Um, the brain doesn't know the difference between experiencing something in the mind or in a dream, but it will still help us feel the emotions that we need to, to process whatever it is that yeah. we need to go through at the time. So just sit back, relax and see what comes up. I ask all the ancestors to be here with us today. Creator, the great spirit of us all. Grandmothers, grandfathers, spirit guides, and all of our animal spirit guides to come into this circle. Help us heal as a people. All the wounds from the past, from this life, from the lives of our ancestors that have been passed down. So 
So begin to now close your eyes and go inward into the sacred temple, your body. Begin to allow yourself to feel. Give the mind permission to relax. You're safe. Imagine that it's easy to communicate with your body. And as you tune into your body and begin to feel the very essence of your being down to your core, you can see your soul. your authentic self. And as you look around that authentic self, you see parts and layers of the wounded self, which is normal for all of us. These things that have happened in our past create memories in our body. So just imagine that it's easy for your body to tell you, to show you what emotions that you're feeling that may be stuck from the past. And where are you feeling them? So just take a moment to really look within and, and identify those emotions that you may have stuck. Some of the most common are sadness, fear, Anger, regret, shame, feelings of not worthy, not being worthy, not being good enough, resentment, abandonment, it's a big one, rejection. So just imagine that you're able to really identify whatever those feelings are. And then Go and locate them where you might be carrying them in your body. Just trust your body to show you where you might be carrying those emotions. Most commonly is in the heart or throat or abdomen area. Just identify where you're carrying it. Really get a good look at those emotions and allow yourself to feel them. Most often we, we don't wanna feel them. It's too scary, we don't wanna go there again. This is what creates addiction. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to feel those emotions because right now you're safe to feel them and heal them. To, to heal, you have to feel them, to process the emotions. So allow yourself to feel them and as you identify where you're carrying in them, them in your body, go ahead and go in there and look at them. Look at those emotions in that area and give them a shape and a color. Some of you might be seeing a black circle or a black mist. The most common a dark green sludge. Sometimes people see other things too. Whatever you see, just identify. And now imagine as you're allowing yourself to feel those emotions, you've identified what they are. You've identified where you're carrying them in the body. You've identified what they look like. Now imagine allowing yourself, allowing yourself to follow it way back in time to its origin. Maybe you were just a child. Most commonly is the age of five. Sometimes in the womb, sometimes later in life, but most commonly, just a child. And something happened. The first time you remember feeling those same emotions, Allow that memory to just easily come to the surface. 
being able to look at it with new eyes, a new perspective. And now, no matter, no matter what's going on in that memory, go ahead and freeze it like a clip in a movie, like pause. And now imagine the self of who you are today, right now, being able to just walk into that scene, walk over to your younger self, take them by the hands and look them in the eyes and let them know they're gonna be okay. You're here to bring them home. On some level, they've been stuck back there. Lack of understanding. Part of their soul was fragmented. In the shamanic world, we call it soul fragmentation. And that you've come to bring them home. But first, they need to understand the truth of what happened. So imagine whoever is there in that memory. Give that child permission to speak to them out loud. Let them know what they've done. What would you have wanted to say to them back then, knowing what you know now? Imagine saying it to them out loud. Let them know how it made you feel in that moment. Say it out loud to them. Look at their face as you're speaking to them. Really let them know what this has done to you and how it's affected you your entire life. And now imagine them standing there, maybe hearing you for the first time on a spiritual level. How could you imagine that would make them feel knowing how badly they hurt you. Even just as a child, no matter what it was, it's trauma. Creates limiting beliefs right there in that moment that we carry the rest of our lives. Most commonly, you will see them feeling sad, regret, shame. And when you ask them, why did they do it? Listen for the truth. Why did they do it? Listen. Maybe it was done to them. And if they're having a hard time telling you the truth, it's because it's too scary for them to tell you the truth, to feel. Give them permission to feel. Give them permission to fully tell you the truth today. Complete understanding. And now let them know that you're here today to set them free. You're no longer going to carry any of these lower vibration emotions towards this situation or them. Find compassion in your heart. Look at them in their eyes. Say out loud to them, I forgive you. And I set you free. I forgive you. And I set you free. I forgive you. And I set you free. And take a deep breath and let it out. Look in their eyes, look at their faces. Notice how it makes them feel to know that you could possibly forgive them for such a thing. And now imagine that they are set free from feeling the feelings that they had towards what they did to you. You've set them free. And as you set them free, it sets a thousand souls free. 
generation after generation, this trauma was passed down. And because you were able to forgive them today, you've broken the chain. And now it won't be passed down to your children and the seven generations to come. Feel that powerful energy, that healing, that mass healing that's happening right now. All of your relatives, ancestors before you being able to be healed from this, this very moment. And now look at them in their eyes and thank them. Maybe on some level they've helped you grow. They've taught you something. You've learned something valuable from this experience. Thank them. And now imagine being able to set them free. Set them free. No longer need to carry this anymore because you've forgiven them. See them smiling with gratitude as they leave your vision. Walking away. And now turn and look at your younger self standing there. Smiling. Having full understanding now. Having healed that situation. That event. Now have them remember who they were before that happened. Playful, innocent, mm -hmm. loving, trusting, creative. And ask them if they're ready to come home. To And just imagine that they've been waiting for you this whole time and they are ready to come home. Put your hands out to them. Gently bring them home to you. Nice and slow, as if they're stepping back into your awareness, your body, your mind, your consciousness. Those parts of your soul returning home safely, whole and complete. Returning to integrity, who you once were before that happened. All those parts of yourself returning home. Happiness returning. Trust returning. Playfulness, creative. All these parts of yourself returning home to wholeness. And integrity is restored. Feel how good that feels. Feel it in your entire body. Send it out into your energy field. Out into the room. Out into nature. Out into the rest of the world. And now imagine returning your awareness back to that area in your body where you were once carrying that. And look at it now and what do you see? Why have been live on Instagram? So I've got one, uh... Imagine that it's gone. Maybe it is gone. Maybe you see nothing. And that's good because that means you were able to clear it today. Now imagine putting something very beautiful to you, something you absolutely love, maybe someone or something, and fill that space up with that, what you love. Fill it up. See it. What do you see? What will you do? Like <laughs>
Ich glaube ja, aber wir alle glauben ja, dass das hier so ein bisschen noch das Finale wird. Okay. Hi, I wasn't sure what that was, so I wanted to make sure that we didn't have a security breach into the room. So yep. I'm now restarting everything. So hold on one second. Rebecca, are you able to un to um, to start talking again and your video again? Yes, I'm here. Okay, great. So I'm okay. sorry for that. You can continue and I will start the back end of the other things. Okay. Thank you, Ingrid. You're welcome. So as everybody here knows, everything happens for a reason. And that little intervention was that little bit of fear that you have left in your mind. Is this real? Could this be true? Could it be that easy to heal this? So it had to show up and manifest in physical form. Give it permission to heal. Give your mind permission to relax and let it know you're safe. The ego doesn't have to try to protect you anymore. You're going to let your authentic self protect you. Let the layers of wounded self just fall off. Limiting beliefs, all these things that have made up who you are. Love them. Be grateful for them. Give them permission to heal. Permission for your authentic self to come forward. Releasing all that fear. You no longer need to be in fear anymore. This is the time we've been waiting for. We're no longer trying to wake up the people, the sheeple. We are awake. Now it's time for the lions to start waking up the lions. The leaders need to start coming forward in a good way to bring us into this time that we're entering right now where the vibration of the planet is vibrating at an all time high, maybe has not vibrated this high since 3,000, 5,000 years. What a great time that we're in. Notice how you feel. Notice that high vibrational state that you're in right now. Know that nothing lower vibration can enter that energy. No sickness, disease, illness. There's no room for it. Keep your vibration high. Know that you're safe. Know that your ancestors are watching over you, protecting you on your earth walk. Look for the signs that they're guiding you on your purpose. What are you here to do? It's much bigger than you think. And as we pass through this lion's gate, and we come out, on the other side, it will be a whole new journey for us. It's exciting. Get excited. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today in this guided healing meditation, which I sometimes call a soul retrieval, a shamanic journey. And of course, you know, you'll get more out of it through a one-on-one -on -one session. But it's taken me this long to learn how to do it in groups. So I hope you've enjoyed it today. And 
if you do feel like learning more about how you can heal yourself through this work, you can go to my website at southwindsschool.com. And for now, I wanna just send out another thanks to all the ancestors Grandmothers, grandfathers, spirit guides, animal spirit guides that were here with us today, all our loved ones, even the ones that have passed that are here with us now. Just as we asked you to be here for the ceremony, we thank you for being here for the ceremony. We are complete. I hope. There we go. I'm unmuted. Thanks, Rebecca. That was great. A nice, a nice healing touch. Thank I you. was just, as you were doing, I was just back to uh, remembering. As you heal yourself, you heal the planet. As you heal the planet, you heal yourself. So right. it's it's all all one. Jim, so your got... video is not back on yet. You need to start your video again. Huh. There you go. Oh, I was a disembodied voice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's worse things. Were you out of your body for a while there, Jim? <laughs> yeah, I think I was. I think I was. I was back there with you. Perfectly yeah. normal. Happens all the time. Yeah, back out on the rocks. <laughs> <clears throat> so it is 1048. Uh, what's that? 12. Okay. So we still have time. We've got 20 some minutes before we open. You guys want to go on a tour through the caves? Yeah, I do. <laughs> anyway, okay, you're getting a lot of thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get my tour guide hat on. <laughs> As your official Sedona tour guide, been doing this since 2005, born and raised here, I would be glad to take you all through this amazing place. And it's also one of Sedona's most powerful secret vortexes. I've been doing vortex tours also since then, getting my shoe. Yeah, I'm, I'm going, you know, almost barefooted in the caves. Because <laughs> I'm a little crazy like that, that's okay. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Um, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. This is what I'm looking at just sitting here. There's where I was sitting in the cave. Come over here first. I have to be very careful because this is washed out over time and it's quite a ways down. <laughs> but you all that know me, you know I'm sort of a mountain lion energy, mountain goat. So I've got pretty good footing. So when we enter this cave, there's like a little place to sit and meditate here. This one has got a beautiful place to sit right there as you look out. That's where I came in from. A 
I love the heart. <laughs> So the vortex energies are amplified energy where people come to pray, heal, meditate, get guidance, directions in their lives. That's why Sedona is known for their vortex energy. There's Airport Mesa right there, one of the most pow powerful masculine energies. To me, the wind tunnel caves are a balanced energy because we're so close to the water and it's up high on a mesa. So it's very balanced. This is always the trickiest spot to get from here to there without going that way. So bear with me. It's not too bad, really. Oh. All right. Doesn't look like there's any way around, does it? <laughs> It's a little opening here. God in the distance, so beautiful. Maybe you can hear the water. Goes around. I love the lighting, this is great. Another little window. I'm just checking the dirt on the ground too for any animal prints. Mm -hmm. oh, I kind of have this right? <laughs> Rebecca, your sound is starting to cut out a little bit. I'm not sure if it's you went deeper into the cave or some way, but the sound somehow is now glitching. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This is the end cave looking out. When I first came here, there was no drawings. Now there's all kinds of drawings, names, carvings. Try not to judge it because I don't want to give it power. Let it be what it is. Just hold the space of being sacred. So now I'm going to go back. This is the end. I'm going to go back towards the front. So bear with me if you can't hear me. I'm gonna set you guys down while I go around here. Ooh, that one always gets me. <laughs> All right. But you know what? No fear, right? <laughs> Safety, but no fear. Okay. Then I'm going to take you to the front entrance. 
of the caves. So here I have to go up. Watch that step. Here I have to duck way down, get through. And this is the opening to the caves. This is a nice place to sit and meditate here, looking out, caves behind you. Nice twisted juniper hair. And if we have time, I wanna go up to the top and show you guys the most twisted juniper tree in Sedona. But uh, Ingrid, can you hear me? Loud and clear. How much time do we have before we start the drums? Um, I believe, anybody else have a accurate time count? It looks like 12 minutes, 13 minutes to me. 12 minutes, okay. Does somebody else right. have a better time? My clock may not be completely accurate. Does somebody else have a better timing? 12 minutes, okay. Uh, 12. 12 minutes. I think I can do this in 12 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so without rushing, right? This is not, not in a race. Be careful. Not as young as I used to be. May look like it, thank God. Thank creator. Thank my mama. Hey, and a big shout out to my mom too. It's her birthday today. Woohoo. Happy birthday, mom. I love you. And I want to do a shout out to Jim Gray Wolf Petruzzi as well. I, uh, my father left me and my mom when I was three months in the womb. So I never knew him. Grew up without a father. My mom did her best. She did a great job of playing both roles and having six kids, <laughs> but uh, eventually, you know. And um, so about a year ago, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago, I've known Jim for 10, 11 years now. He's always been there to help me, guide me, support me. Um, just wanna show you guys a piece of pottery I just found here. Artifacts all over the place. You leave it where you found it. And respect. But anyway, uh, I asked him if he would be my spirit father. <laughs> he said yes. That made me so happy. So that's why he calls me his spirit daughter and I call him my spirit dad. Thank you, Jim. I love you. Ah, <sighs> look at this tree. This is literally the most twisted juniper I have seen in Sedona of all my years doing vortex tours. It said that the juniper is one of the most highest vibrations of tree. And that's why it's so easily affected by the vortex energy. Of course, all trees have their own vibration. But look at this grandfather tree. And right now we're standing above the caves. Creek down there. Isn't this a great place? The energy here is beautiful. So there's a rock there to sit and meditate facing the east where the sun rises. Thank you to Grandfather Son for being here for us two legates, for all of Mother Earth, giving us light to see 
warmth for our bodies. And on this side, the west, it's in the shade. Another place to sit and meditate, pray, connect with creator, drum. For today, I think I'll drum in the caves because the echo, the sound, the vibration is amplified in the caves. So I'm going to be heading back that way. Whew. Starting to get warm here already in Arizona. <laughs> it's been 100 degrees every day. But what I am grateful for is all the rain that we've had. We've had good rain. Look at how green the sage is. The Hopi tea, Mormon tea, and all these sacred herbs and plants around us here. The junipers, the pinyon pines, the four directions, red root, the cat claw. I see hearts everywhere too, guys. See that heart? <laughs> oh, hearts in the rocks. See faces in the rocks. Um, but one thing I'm super grateful for is that it didn't rain yesterday or today. Therefore, my 18 inch elk hide drum is going to sound perfect. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be flat. And I'm not, I don't have another drum. Like, so I'm really grateful that, uh, that Creator is always working in support of us. Look at this one coming right out of the rock. Thank you, Juniper. Thank you to the tree people. Thank you for everything that you give for us, the berries, the medicines, the shade. I see you. And I've been practicing shamanism now many years, seen many things, and I've just born a very spiritual person. I can see the unseen and I can walk between worlds. It took me a long time to get grounded. But I finally did it, just, just showing up, you know, and but also being able to pay attention to the spirit world around us, listening to the wind, watching the animals as they come and go, you know, and also trusting our intuitions too. This is also part of the unseen energies. Listen to your intuition, that inner guidance. No matter, you know, what beliefs, religions you have, your creator, whoever you call God, speaks through you through your soul, your intuition. Listen to that guidance. Going back in the caves now. And I'm really grateful that Creator has opened this space up just for me today. <laughs> and that there's not a hundred people here. All right. I'm feeling the momentum building um, as we're getting ready to open the drums here in the United States. What an honor that this is for me and for all of us that are here and not here on Zoom. <sighs> Thank you, Creator. Thank you, Creator. All right. I'm just going to put you guys back on the tripod. Hope you guys like that tour. What time do we have? I have 10.05 a.m. Pacific time, so you've got six minutes. Jim is just holding up six fingers, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, six minutes. I'm just going to do a little bit of maybe some uh, channeling from the ancestors of this land and speak whatever comes out. And then I don't have the time where I can see it on my phone. So if you can let me know when it's time, uh, that would be great. And then we start the drumming. Sound okay? 
Sounds good. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I've got a backup. Been doing this so long. Never want to be without spirit of the fire. And thank goodness now that you know the forests are reopened back up and they've lifted the fire ban as well. Thank you for being able to uh, allow us to bring in the sacred smoke here in the high desert of the Southwest. Smoke makes the unseen seeable. You see the air. None of the darkness or anything bad can exist in the smoke. Traditionally, before ceremony, one would get smudged with sage or cedar or sweetgrass, all kinds of different herbs to be able to purify that person's mind before they enter into ceremony. Where did I learn all this? Some through humans, some through creators speaking to me, some through the animals and a lot through Jim. He's taught me so much about the old ways. Very lucky to have him as my, my spirit father. So let's see what the ancestors have to say. Walk gently upon the earth. She is so precious, like a newborn baby. Treat her with such gentleness and care. And those that dwell within her, on her, around her, treat all things with gentleness, care, and compassion. Knowing that we're all healing for many, many years, generation after generation of being suppressed, put into fear. We're all healing. Be gentle and kind to each other. The humans, the two leggeds, our human family, one tribe, the human tribe, no longer looking at each other's color of skin. There's only one skin, the human skin. Learning from the animals. Was it Frank Fool's Crow who once said, the animals were put here first before us two-legged so that we could learn by watching them. And that the only thing we couldn't learn from them was how to make fire. And that's when the star people came to show us how to make fire. Respecting the finned ones, the swimming ones in the ocean, the winged ones in the skies, the scaled ones on the earth, the creepy crawlies, the snake people. Rebecca, All our relatives. Rebecca, that's you... one minute before 11 11. Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The ancestors are saying that things are about to happen for us right now throughout this day and the next couple of days that we may not understand, but to just stay present because our lives are about to change. And, and it's 11, 11 Really amazing. Okay. Okay. Set the drums. <laughs> like, where's my drumstick? 
All right, everybody, let's bring it in. Heartbeat of the mother. Bring in the ancestors, four directions. Let the vibration move through you, heal you. Heal the sacred hoop wherever it may be broken. This is the heartbeat of us all. And shortly, I'm going to shift into the heartbeat of the eagle, which is at 180 beats per minute. Mm -hmm. 